Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y daily, every day we do these, day in, day out, never stopping for any breathing ever, and my co-host on this episode would know about never breathing ever. Hello Nick! How you doing? I'm, no, I'm alright, I'm not bad. Are you ready for what I hope will be a fairly interesting video? <laughs> you could say that, you could say that indeed. Uh... I hope it's not fairly odd. Uh, it's not as fairly odd as your parents. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, R joke is dead. Yeah, Let's go. We just stamped all over everything. Um, so I have a cold. Also, we're talking about fairy types today. Uh, I've been waiting to talk about this with Nick because if I did it on my own, I just look dumb. Because I, I, I don't know enough. About fairies. Neither does Nick, but if we can... All you have to do is believe. If... With a little bit of fairy dust. Look, I, 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 we're both incompetent, so we'll just combine those competencies together, and maybe, you know, two wrongs make a right. Am I right? right? Yes. Yes, good. Okay, so let's start from the top. Fairy is a new type, and it got introduced, and people were going schizo, and they were like, oh, why is this just a dumb name? Uh, this then, is stupid, why isn't there a light type? Right? Uh, Which is like, even worse, because that's just the worst idea ever, and if you think there should be a light type, you should go play Digimon. Well, yeah, I mean, they, do they, does light exist in Digimon as a thing? Is that mm, well, no. Digi Digivolves to the light version? No, no. Uh, but, you know, all things considered, if you think about it logically, fairies are mythical creatures, like dragons, and so it kind of does tie together. I don't know, I, I feel like the connotation with fairy is just like little girls and, you know, toys and dolls and that kind of thing, which is why people don't like it, I guess. Well, I think, like, the only reason, I think the biggest hate for it is that most of the people that play are like guys and they think fairy's really girly right because it's all pink and right yeah and uh also i think why everyone wanted the light type to be a thing was because dark type in japanese is actually evil type uh -huh. so they kind of wanted that going on but uh because -huh. uh, you know fairy and dark do have an interaction right. so uh that, that is true um I feel like the light type would have had to conform to some other stuff, and making the light type immune to dragon wouldn't have seemed as plausible as fairy being immune to- although fairy being immune to dragon is not super plausible, it's just more plausible than- Well, I mean, like, you know, dragons are, you know, mythologically weak to magic stuff, Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's talk about, like, what it's super effective on and what it resists and all that stuff. So let's start with what fairy is good against. Um, and what we have is it's good against... Fighting. Fighting. Dragon. Yeah. And dark. Yes, yeah, so those are the three things that's super effective on. Um, so I think that's great. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, is... Uh, the main real meat of this is dragon, honestly, because dragon is just the massive type that goes romping around all the place in the competitive scene is a pain in the ass. Uh, and having something else that's super effective on it is great, uh, but I feel the more interesting story with the dragon is the fact that it's immune to it, but we'll move on to that. Uh, fighting and dark are two kind of strange types. Um, that interact with each other on their own terms, with fighting, fighting be super effective on Dark. Um, I don't know how much this will affect those. What do, what do you think with fighting I, Dark? I think it helps. I mean, Dark uh, is weak to fighting and bug, and uh, we could definitely use another type there. Mm -hmm. uh, fighting as well, I mean, most of the psychic types barely run stab. I mean, like they do, like, they do, but they don't. There's a lot of psychic types that are more like support things and don't even have room to run stab. I feel more that's the case in Ubers where psychic types don't really run it. Um, but Well if you look like Mew and stuff, like you have like one like you well, turn yeah. your move, stuff like that, you're like you're running dual screen. But it, it, it's not like saying like, oh it doesn't but then you have, you know, fighting types that are mixed like uh Scrafty who is fighting dark and psychic yeah. isn't gonna cover it. Flying's not even a great move to run in anything because flying's stupid. Man, you just I just realized Scrafty's gonna get fucked by Fairy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah it is. Head out. Uh, but uh overall I think uh Dragon's definitely the thing you're gonna wanna look at here. 
uh, it's sort of like uh, how uh, in Gen 2, the introduction of Dark and Steel to nerf the stupidly broken psychic types. Right, yeah. Uh, Fairy is doing that here with Dragon, because Dragon was, by far, I don't think anyone can argue that Dragon was the best type in the game for, like, the last ten years. So. Well, well, Steel, steel as well is, is up. Dragon and Steel, and Steel got nerfed too, so... Yeah, exactly, that's what they're kind of doing here. Uh, let's talk about the resistances, or the... The stuff that Fairy will not be very effective on, first of all, which is um, uh, fire, uh, poison, and steel, um, which are really kind. I mean, fire is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how. Like, mm. okay, I'm just guessing fairies aren't gonna like it when you burn their forest down. Well, tr that's yeah. I guess that makes logical sense. Um, the other two, I feel, are just kind of thrown in there because why not? Uh, poison mainly because I just feel that no one really cares about poison. Poison, like, left poison is like the taint of the world, mm. and fairies are pure. So if you poison a fairy type, you know, it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Makes sense but, to me. Well, and steel is getting a new resist. Um, because it lost two. It lost two. So I think that's why steel is existing. Fair enough with steel. Uh, but yeah, poison, I feel, is just like, well, it's... it's, it's no one really uses it and doesn't really do much. So here's here it's it's good on fairy yeah that poison now you have some significance, which is cool. Um, at least they're kind of paying attention to the little guy, uh, the poison over there in the corner. Um, so yeah, no, a, a very interesting and weird kind of set uh, of um, resistances and super effectivenesses and all that kind of thing. But that's always going to be strange when you get a new type introduced when you're kind of thinking about it because you're so familiar with how everything works currently and you just like. I, whenever I think of like a type on a type, I always like hear the super effective sound in my head. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's how. Yeah, it works. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's gonna change things up now, and I'm gonna try. I, I'm gonna hear every time Caesar gets hit by Shadow Ball. I'm gonna hear like the not very effective thing in my brain, and then X and Y is gonna change it to be neutral sound, and it's gonna mess with me. Honestly, it's gonna be, it's gonna be strange. Yeah, you go. Uh, but uh, I guess that's uh, the stuff of it doing or offensively offensively um defensively uh let's see how it fares so the main thing as we said before it's immune to dragon and this was something that i kind of was thinking about a while before they revealed it like if fairy is in fact immune to dragon and not just resistant to it that's gonna be big that's gonna be huge because you know, even steel type switching into like outrages and Draco meteors, they still take some some heavy hits from those. Uh, and being able to just switch in and take nothing, that's that's, that's pretty. That's massive. big. That's pretty massive. It's, uh, it's you think about it, and it's like, oh look, here's fucking spec salamence. Oh wait, I have a Jigglypuff. Fuck off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so that's dumb. Cool. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Um. Any, any more thoughts on Dragon here? Uh, I think it's needed. It's necessary. Yeah. Definitely. But, uh... I think... Uh, I, w I was like... Immunity is kind of nice. Uh, there was only... Right, Steel was the only thing that resisted it, so... Yeah. Uh, they, could, they can't just say, like, Okay, now all of these things resist Dragon. Yeah. Um, but an immunity is nice. It balances it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, yeah, so other than that, let's see, defensively, uh, what is it weak to? Um, so it's, defensively, it's, uh, weak to poison, as we said, like, there's, there's the reverse there, like, it's not very effective on poison, it's also weak to it. It's the same with steel, uh, where it's gonna take super effective damage from steel types, um, and I believe those are the two things that it's, it's weak to. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, and again, both are are not uh, the most common. Poison's probably the least common, I would think, offensive move in mm. the game. Definitely. Uh, in general, poison and steel are defensive typings. And so, you, I mean, with the exception of Scizor, who is so prevalent, um, you have basically like three steel moves that are common. Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, and Flash Cannon. And those aren't really seen like a huge amount. Uh, Poison-wise, Sludge Bomb is um, pretty common, but I would expect uh, I would expect uh, there to be a fair balance of uh, moves. Gengar is not you're never going to see a Gengar without Sludge Bomb again. Mm, yeah, definitely. Uh, 
you don't even have to worry about Iron Head. I think Jirachi's going to drop way down in the in the usage because of uh, it now being weak to Ghost and Dark. Yeah, the, the the Steel Psychic people have been horribly hurt. Metagross, Bronzong, and Jirachi all just kind of, well, now we have more weaknesses and we're more useless. So uh, it's horrible. It's, it's not yeah. nice. I don't like it. Um, uh, uh, let's talk about its resists. Yeah, uh, so it resists quite a few things actually. It resists fighting. Uh, which makes sense because it's also super effective on fighting, so the reverse is true. Uh, it resists bug, which uh, is not, not something... I mean, when you think about it, like the bugs in the forest and fairies... Like, that... They're their friends, right? Why right. Are they... Yeah, I guess. I guess <laughs> it just seems like bug and fire are on different ends of the spectrum, and they're in the relationship somehow, but... Yeah. They're the only types that aren't on the opposite ends of the True. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is which is a weird thing to uh, Shut up, phone. Beautiful. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then finally we have a uh, dark, which uh, is the the reverse uh, of the other thing. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's definitely going to be I, I don't think it's a problem by itself on the fear on the uh, pure fairy type but once you start mixing it with other types it oh, gets yeah. problematic uh, and so nick brought up earlier the possibility of a ground fairy type which if you think about it fairy uh is resisted by fire poison and steel what is ground super effective on oh gee i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe all fucking three uh, holy shit. That's that's gonna be great. That sounds like it's some wonderful. nice... And it's super effective against dragons, so no more going into dragons to dodge earthquakes. Right? Oh my god. Uh, do you think... Do you think something that's currently, like, pure ground type is going to get fairy type, like, in the current lineup, or will there be uh, anything? I can't see anything. Mm. Um... Nothing. Really. Hip, out, hip out on. He's he's you know he's. I, that's not even a joke. He's pretty light and feathery. <laughs> he, he he grows things uh, maybe. You know. I don't I don't get it. Uh, okay, no, I I guess yeah. we're not. No, hip out on. He probably won't work. Uh, uh, pro- yeah, it's like in- it maybe a new Pokemon. I mean, ground ground types are kind of uh, like not fitting very well. It's like making a water fire type. Yeah. Which I really was hoping that Torkoal would evolve into a water fire type. Uh huh. That would make the, the most sense. Yeah. It would just be so fun. Like it, it wouldn't even have to make sense. It would just be really fun. Yeah. I mean, they should do this this kind of stuff. I mean, eventually there will be a point where every single combination exists. Uh, it just uh, it'll, it'll take some time. And I'm sure when all the six gen Pokemon are revealed, we'll see a bevy of new combinations that we have been thought of. Nice vocab. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I just looked at every uh, ground Pokemon ever, and the only one I even remotely considered mm. for a fairy type was Wormadam, and it's already a bug type, so... Wormadamit. Wormadamit, exactly. <laughs> okay. Can you imagine Gliscor? Oh, look at me, I'm a fairy. <laughs> yeah, woo! Go uh, to hell. <laughs> get Go. out. You're already fucking broken enough. Um, the other one we were talking about was uh, Azumarill, or Maril is currently, but we assume Azumarill will be fairy as well. Azumarill, yeah. We assume, we assume <laughs> that that's the case. Uh, which is nice, because uh, fairy uh, not being effective on fire means that the water typing helps out there, uh, and then it's obviously neutral on poison and steel, so it kind of uh, helps quite a bit, which is nice. <laughs> Only thing I'll miss is switching in on bullet punches and having, you know, free room to set up. That's true, yeah, but unfortunately. It's, again, it's not even a big deal. I mean, no. not at all. Uh, I, I really think uh, fairy type existing will definitely lower the amount of choice dragons that you see. Certainly, yeah. I mean, so if like, uh, you see a Haxorus, courage. it's probably not banded. Yeah. So. Thanks, Latios. That's there you go. To yours. That's true. That's going to be a, a real kick to the nuts. Uh, but that's. I think that's pretty much it. We've we've covered it a, a decent amount here. On the. T- um, we should co- we should go over quickly the the new rumors that are possibly but not definitely true. Just quickly. Um. Yeah. Let's let's quickly go over those. Front uh, okay. So the rumored Pokemon to also be fairy types are Dunsparce, which 
certainly makes sense. It's got little wings, right, on his back? Yeah, little wings. Yeah. Uh, uh, Clefairy line, which, hello. <laughs> mm, the one. I, I don't think I'd ever actually buy the game if that were in a fairy type. <laughs> uh, and the last two kind of pain me uh, are Togepi's line and Chansey's line. Uh, the only thing that means is Blissey's gonna be hella broke, and... and <laughs> hey, to- well, it's neutral to fighting, so, you know. Yeah, neutral to fighting, and it resists dragon, and... Uh, just, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, the thing about Togetic is, if that's... Or Togekiss and Togetic, yeah. is that one of their types are going away. I'm assuming normal, so fairy flying. Yeah. Uh... I'm hoping it's not normal fairy. That would not be fun. Uh, that would be dumb because it has wings and it's in the fucking air. So, so <laughs> you'd have to give it levitate otherwise. So no. That yeah. Be normal. I, I'm definitely thinking it's gonna be the normal that gets replaced. Yeah. Uh, which is gonna be it's gonna quad resist fighting. Mm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, quad resist bug. It's gonna be interesting. It'll, it'll be fun. If that's the case, though, we must uh, reiterate these are yeah, if, purely if, rumors at the current point. So yeah, I'm hoping Blissey just you know has a miscarriage and doesn't give birth to the new fairy type baby. Mm, yeah, that would. Be- um, and the other the other fairy type rumor is the move Fairy Dust, uh, which apparently, if it is uh, true, will randomly cause paralysis, poison, sleep, or burn. Oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> That sounds fun. That sounds like the the most roulette-ish thing in... I would use it. I, I have no doubt you would <laughs> use it. It sounds like you're, like, move made in heaven. I, okay. I, want, I wonder if Persian can learn it. Yeah, exactly. Assist fairy dust Persian. Come on. There you go. That's gonna be it. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this this go around. Yeah, this this go around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. You can uh, check us out on the social media. Nick, go plug yourself. Uh, at Superblah four hundred one is the tweetos. Oh. And that's pretty much the only one that matters. My YouTube channel is in the description. Yeah. And uh, before we go, you should let us know if there are any Pokemon that are not currently fairy Pokemon that you think should be. That is a good question, certainly. What would you make fairy type from the previous 600 that already exist? Let us know down below. You can follow me on Twitter at LordMBZ, Facebook.com slash LordMBZ, and you can like the video if you enjoyed, which would be an advisable thing to do. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you, Nick, for joining me on this, uh, this show. Uh, certainly welcome. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another XY Daily. Goodbye. <laughs>